Which anime do you like? <laughs> Exercise for increased height. Have you guys ever done that thing where you like strap your neck and then you tie it to the ceiling? <laughs> I'm just kidding, please don't do that. What is your profession? To answer some questions. Oh yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> Nathan and I thought that we would do a, a Q and A because yep. we've had some people just ask us random questions here and there, some funny ass shit too. Yeah. <laughs> some people ask some savage fucking shit. Yeah, now they're ruthless, man. We uh, decided to go on our Instagrams, and so I posted this pic, and then I was just like, if you guys have any questions or whatever, Nathan and I are gonna do a Q and A, so y'all can ask below. So we'll just go through the comment section in that pic first, and then I shot out a story yesterday where I was just like, yeah, we're gonna do another Q and A. And then a bunch of you guys send in some dope ass questions and some stupid ass questions. So we're gonna go over those too. It should be fun. Yeah, and we'll hit those next. Uh. Yeah, so let's just go through the uh, comment section first. Nathan Brooks won. If a baby's leg pops out at 11.59 p.m. but his head doesn't come out until 12.01, which day was he born? It's a serious consideration. This, you know? is, this is really serious, bro. I think it's just questions that we need to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these comments, dude. Yeah. The doctors will only pronounce the time of birth the moment the baby has completely delivered from the vagina. Bro, they're giving us some serious <laughs> some answers. Some serious ass answers. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, the baby's head always comes through first. I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Which way is the beach from Malia? <laughs> <laughs> Beyond Wonderland. Yes, fucking sir, bro. Are you, are you, are you, uh, do you know if you're going to that yet? No. Sure. Tonight? No, Beyond Wonderland. It was the thing that Sony was talking about. And no. I wasn't planning on it. We should fucking get you to go, bro. <laughs> when did you get your ticket? When is it? I think it's like March 28th or 27th or something. Okay. Might not be here, but if I am, I'm down. All right. Yeah. Next question. Where do you get your oversized ACDC shirt? <laughs> I think I got it from Urban Outfitters. I think. Might have been. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I think it's like a double XL or something like that. What is this hair color? Question mark. <laughs> Neapolitan. <laughs> Neapolitan. Neapolitan. You know what that is? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. <laughs> Can we achieve a static body like you, but still in natty mode? Uh, that's so debatable. I don't know. It's I think genetics. It, I think it depends. Yeah, I think it depends on your genetics, and then also. Um, if you're comparing to me when I was super, super dry and like running like Primo and stuff, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can maintain that level of muscle mass and also be that dry at the same time. Yeah. But in my muscle mass, I think you can definitely achieve that uh, given that you have a good level of testosterone. But you might not be able to maintain the same amount of level of like body fat percentage, like low body fat percentage though. It's hard to not be catabolic when you're right. doing something like that, when you're natural. Right. Um, just cause your testosterone tanks. So whenever you're on a huge calorie deficit, testosterone is going to tank, yeah. you're going to become catabolic. You're going to lose some of that muscle mass, um, which is just the reality of it for most people. So yeah, I think in terms of size and proportions, you know, a physique like Nile or a physique like mine, I think that it could be achievable in terms of just the muscle and the proportions. But I think beyond that with the leanness that can be achieved, um, that's when it starts getting the territory of, I mean, you probably have to be on something like PEDs for that. Right. I don't know if you guys have seen Tristan Lee's video. Um, but that's a good example about somewhere where I'm at, but I didn't do, I don't do things to his extent, but he was eating like 1800 calories, doing like 20,000 steps a day, some crazy fucking shit, right? And I'm not maintaining 4% body fat. I feel like I, w I could be saying I'm maintaining maybe around 8% body fat, yeah. but I do still eat a very low calorie maintenance. And I do still, like if I was natural, my testosterone would definitely dip because it has dipped, it dipped with me eating this diet before I started TRT. And then my thyroid also has taken in a big effect. My thyroid's about 2.0, um, which is literally the bottom of the reference range. So I'm really pushing it. And like I'm eating like 2,000, 2,100 calories a day. I'm trying to do at least 5,000 steps a day. Um, I'm training, you know, six, around six days a week. And then I also love to do my cardio through dancing and I go to festivals for like hours on end, which is how I like to do most of my cardio. That's where TRT comes in handy and gives me that little handicap 
is that it allows me to stay this lean but still maintain the amount of muscle mass I have. Would you ever compete again? I've been uh, I've been thinking about competing again in this stage. Honestly, I feel like I kind of want to compete soon. Um, obviously, this is going to have to mean that I am going to have to go in a bulk and um, try to focus on gaining some mass. But first, I have to commit myself to actually doing that. Yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard in the social media sphere, you know, because you got yeah. to stay diced all the time. I really do think I want to compete again, but you know, the time will come when I feel like I'm ready to like blast tests and blast other androgens and then also eat more but the thing is like i feel really comfortable in my physique in my body where i am right now with my body fat percentage and i honestly tend to feel a little less self-confident when i increase my body fat over like where i'm comfortable right now um, that's something i could get over psychologically but at the moment I feel happy where I'm at, so I want to like main gain with this body fat level. And I also want to kind of maintain the aesthetics. Once I release that, and I decide to go full out and focus on building mass for competing, that's probably going to be where the next step comes in. Then I'm going to start looking into like doing prep and then doing another, starting my pro debut. Yeah. And then this guy is definitely going to get on the stage sometime soon. Yeah. That's the plan, man. Hopefully at the end of the year, um, I'm trying to compete. So technically right now is a bulking phase. Um, yeah, it's hard to bulk, man. It's hard. It's hard to yeah. lose the, the, uh, the ab definition, everything. I'm an ectomorph. What do I, need to, what do I need to do to get a body like yours? Honestly, bro, you just need to eat. Yeah. You need to eat. Make sure that you're eating your fats as well because that dictates your natural hormone level. And then I would get your blood work done honestly so you can see where your testosterone level is right now and see where your potential lies. Yeah, I think a lot of times too, people who claim they're ectomorphs, I mean, there is definitely a, a, a spectrum in terms of like metabolism and stuff. But I mean, at the end of the day, it really is just calories in, calories out. Um, everyone has the potential to gain muscle. And a lot of people who say they're eating a lot um, aren't particularly eating that much, you know? So if you really ask someone to count their calories, track everything, make, th make sure their macros are in check, and they start doing that, usually what you'll tend to realize is if they have trouble gaining weight to begin with, they're under eating, even if they think they're eating a lot. Um, so yeah, I mean, if, if it's something that you're used to not eating that much, and if you eat too much and you're like, oh my God, this is a lot, it might become a chore, but it's really something that you need to do. What is your muscle building day division schedule? <laughs> I'm assuming he's saying my, training my training split. Uh, um, it's basically push, pull, legs, shoulders, and abs, yeah. but shoulders and abs together. Yeah. yeah, I just think shoulders should have their own day if you're trying to do something like classic or men's physique Just because you're trying to you really want to square off your V taper and whenever people do like a push-pull leg split they, they, I think they kind of start creating more of a power building looking body where it's a little bit more rounded Yeah, best PED in your opinion most mass lee sides I think this is a hard one, but the more gains that you can get from a PED obviously the more sides I personally think Primo is the best, but it doesn't necessarily give you the most mass. Yeah. It's just the one that's probably going to be the most mild, yeah. especially with its sides. TRT for sure. <laughs> TRT, yeah. What do you do for your hair and skin? Um, I take like collagen stuff like OxyGlow from EHP Labs, and then they also have these cool little like supplements for hair, skin, and nails. And then I also have this dope ass Botox cream that I got from Transcend, which is like, <laughs> it's like a copper, copper something peptide. If you were looking to start taking PEDs, are there certain ones you should start off as a beginner or anything? If you really wanted to start and say that you've met, reached your maximum potential and then like you're just like, ah, oh, like I'm okay, I'm okay like risking my fertility and just jumping on TRT for the rest of my life. I, I would normally just start with TRT first. Yeah. And then if you wanted to gain size in the long run, then maybe just increase your testosterone a little bit. So like say that your TRT dose is 150, maybe you could try like a very soft blast or something. Maybe you could even try 250 or something and see how that runs yeah. for a little bit. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you do that, then your estrogen is going to increase. So you're going to have to uh, run some kind of like AI or some. Or get your blood work done. You know, yeah. See how you aromatize, especially yeah. on the TRT dose. Yeah. If, you're, if your estrogen is going above the standard reference range, then you should probably be taking an AI to make sure that you're you know, not having some extra size. It's always good to start with testosterone too because it's usually always the base for any cycle. So if you think about it, like you're setting the base of testosterone and then you're adding little bricks to the house, um, but it's a brick at a time. You don't just throw everything in and just say, okay, I hope it all works. How to safely run PEDs and do Molly at festivals. <laughs> 
Bro, so I'm pretty sure that Z's died from taking a combination of Clin, Tran, and most likely something like Ecstasy at a festival. If you're going to run something like Ecstasy or something, then I would make sure to stay away from anything that'll affect your, you know. Organ health? Well, I mean, yeah, organ health, but like if you were really going to run stuff, because people definitely will still run stuff while taking Molly or Ecstasy, I know they will then i mean at least don't do tran or clan or anything that'll affect your heart rhythm like yeah that plus stimulants i think is a recipe for like a heart attack if you've been blasting peds and your organs are at, in bad health and then you start running things like molly and maybe other drugs that are bad for like your liver and your kidneys then obviously you're, you're going to you're at risk yeah you're at like a huge huge risk i would be as proactive and conservative as possible as well as consistently check on your biomarkers and do some imaging too for your organs i want to go to the fun questions in the in the story because all these ones are serious like, yeah all these ones are a lot more serious in the yeah. comments yeah your neck tattoo what does it say my right side has two idioms two japanese idioms and the first one is resurrect from death and return to life. And then the second one is um, falling seven times, stand up eight. Essentially they're metaphors for through every obstacle that you know the universe has thrown at me and that I've had to overcome. Each one has brought me greater strength in moving forward. And so I've transformed into a different person with every, you know, with every obstacle and with every pain that I've been through has transformed me into something better and has made my life better as well and made me a better person it's just a way for me to look at life as like no matter what happens like i can look at this as an opportunity for growth and adopt my mindset to have a positive outlook on whatever is happening to me at the time my left side is uh 7 11 2021 in roman numerals which is the date of my best friend ryan's death last year he was just like was just like one of the best people I ever knew to like walk this planet and it's just kind of crazy that people are like people like that are you know the ones that pass or the the ones where bad things happen to but he just did so much for so many people so in reminding myself about him every day it allows me to really like continue his vision sure. and make sure that he didn't die in vain yeah all these serious questions <laughs> it's like therapy yeah <laughs> How many times do you work out a day per week and how often do you do cardio? I work out approximately six days a week and then cardio, I literally just do dancing for cardio, man. Like partying, I don't drink alcohol, but I will go out and I'll dance my, my fucking ass off for hours because it's just the most fun way to like live, you know? And you're getting in your steps, you're having a high level of physical activity. Like I would rather do that than go on an elliptical. Fair enough. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah, I'm six days a week. Um, cardio, pretty much the same thing, honestly. Um, I'm always trying to do cardio on my own, but I mean, it's just one of those things. Um, in terms of, you know, fat loss, trying to get the aesthetics of like being lean, um, cardio is important, it's not necessary. It's more so diet. Um, cardio is more so for your health markers. So it's something that should definitely be done. But um, I mean, definitely something that I would say is a flaw in my training routine is getting that cardio in. Bit. You get bloated at all? Fuck yeah, bro. I'm bloated as fuck right now. I get bloated all the time. Like, all the videos that I take, I only take when I'm not bloated. Like, I prime my physique for those videos. It's the only reason I look good. And people think I look good year-round, but I really don't. <laughs> There's no fucking way, bro. Yeah. That's inhuman. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times you see these pictures of, like, Instagram versus reality, you know? Because you got to realize on Instagram, it's literally the best version of yourself. Make a video on Plateau. I feel like I'm hitting a point where I'm stuck. Maybe you could give tips from your experience. If you're hitting a plateau, then I would say try a deload week and then start your progressive overload again the next week. Yeah. 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 And then it depends on your plateau too. If it's a cutting or a, like a bulking plateau, if it's like, you know, if you're like not losing weight or you're not gaining weight where you want to, instead of like it being strength, then maybe it's a diet instead. Maybe you need to push the calories lower or push the calories higher. How do you cut and style your top hair? Bro, I don't really know, bro. I just, <laughs> I've been cutting my own hair for the last five years. And I just like, I just look in the mirror and I just eyeball it. I'm just like, <laughs> fair enough. I'm just like, maybe this will look good. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. My hair either looks really great or it looks like absolute dog shit. You guys have seen it look like absolute dog shit. It's looked like a troll for like the last three or four months or something, but it's slowly getting a little bit better again. Uh, are you and Nathan dating? Absolutely. Yeah. How'd you not know? What the fuck?
Nothing gets me harder than my boys. <laughs> the boys. The boys. The boys. <laughs> Some of the funner questions. Let's go. So the questions you guys asked us in the Instagram story. From Gab Bruhel. Gabe. While you shuffle, does your boobs do jump style? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have videos, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna post the videos. <laughs> oh, shit. What's worse, can't find the scoop or the seal not coming off in one piece? Can't find Fuck, the scoop. Fuck, dude! I'd say can't find the scoop. I hate both of those. Yeah. But I'd say... The scoop yeah, sucks, dude, man. The scoop sucks, bro. It's like getting your hands dirty or like whatever you put in there, it's like, man, I just it's just one more thing I gotta wash. Yeah. And then like, it takes a minute, dude, trying to dig that stuff up. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Then I'm like always scratching my butthole and then I gotta dig it out of the fucking stuff. Then I put my butthole in the powder. Yeah, and, and then it's just ruined. And I'm just, the whole powder's ruined. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just drinking butthole all the time. <laughs> How long did it take you to get fit? Well, I've been lifting since I was 12, so it's been 14 years. So it'll probably take you 14 years to get fit. It's really individually based. It's just, you know, everyone starts at different places. Brandon asks, be honest with me. Am I able to similarly be your size naturally? I think you would 100% get to my size naturally, not necessarily my conditioning naturally. And then when you do get to my conditioning and size, then I think it'll affect your natural testosterone level. Yeah. How tall are you? I am 5'8", 5'7 and a half, but... Who's a, who the fuck doesn't round up? Just count. Yeah. Who the fuck's counting? Yeah, fuck it. This guy is 5'11". He's like 5'10 and a half. 5'10, yeah. He says he's 5'10, but he's definitely 5'11". I don't know. Do you any favorite for the arms you train? Alright, next one. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot compute. I am ectomorph with a really fast metabolism. What, recommendation, what recommendations do you have? McDonald's. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Don't go to McDonald's. <laughs> I, I think... A lot of the reason that some people are ectomorphs are uh, maybe they they just don't like eating a lot, and then because they haven't been eating a lot for years, yeah, their testosterone level could just be re like very low. Like their hormone level could be naturally low. I would recommend you get your blood work done, see where your levels are, and then if they're low, then you wanna like ask the doctor for recommendations. What's your favorite music? <laughs> What's your favorite music? Uh, fucking dubstep and wubstep. I love experimental bass, wow. uh, hip hop based dub and grime. Um, and then I also really like house and techno. Yeah. I feel like I like to listen to dub the most when I'm in my car and when I'm in the gym. But I love listening to like, I think house and techno festivals have been the most fun festivals I've ever yeah. been at, at least yeah. for the last like three years or so. The vibes. Man. Yeah, they've been the amazing. Yeah. I mean, LED is always pretty fun too. And LED is like, bunch of fucking Asians and like shit like a Lenny Man Porter Robinson and all that shit. It's pretty yeah. fun too. But like, I think the vibes about, yeah, San Diego house and techno vibes have been yeah. the most fun yeah. by far. Yeah. I like all types of music, man. But I feel like in terms of like an actual like festival or a concert, yeah. you know, cause you can go to a rap concert and there's like these mosh pits. Everyone's trying to like yeah. push each other down and it's like, everyone's stealing. It sucks. Yeah. People are stealing stuff. There's like fights. It sucks. You go to some, some like a rave. Some people have gotten shot. And like everyone's just like, I love you, man. Yeah. And we're all just, yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. The community is fun. Not endorsing any substances, but dude, alcohol brings you to a lower state of consciousness where you're not making decisions that you can you'd make out of love you know a lot of it tends to be out of aggression whereas you know you're taking something like molly or <laughs> something like ketamine something that's been used for psychotherapy and i mean it's still abuse of the drug because you're using it recreationally but like the point of that drug is to bring out serotonin levels and get you deeper into your connection with love and like the people around you so like yeah. you're not going to be punching people in the face <laughs> yeah. when you're rolling oh, dick no chance, dude. <laughs> probably i mean i don't know i don't know you're freaking out maybe you will yeah. but maybe you'll like say sorry and then like, i don't know <laughs> sorry i'm so sorry like the mosh pits at raves like everyone's going so hard because they're rolling sack but then they're like trying to protect each other and then they're like trying to hold each other and then whenever like one big dude like pushes down like a small kid or like a girl or something everyone fucking gets on his shit <laughs> everyone does yeah how big is your pp <laughs> you are gay <laughs> you are you are gay <laughs> so gay bro <laughs> I'm straight, but I love my boys. Exercise for increased height. <laughs> if you guys ever strapped your 
Have you guys ever done that thing where you like strap your neck and then you tie it to the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just people. kidding. Yeah, I'm just, just kidding. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Just get two people, two of your friends, hold your hands, hold your feet, and just pull as hard as they can for about 10 minutes. You probably yeah. grow like a centimeter. <laughs> your abs is not perfect. You need some work. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Damn, bro. Maybe Damn, I should man. just draw some more squares in there. Everyone's like, why do you have four abs? You should do abs more. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even going to say anything to, about that. It's like you start doing enough crunches and an ab just pops up. You just start yeah. building more squares. Yeah. Is it worth getting on TRT with natural test levels of 490 or just stay natural? I think that's very debatable because it depends on what you want to do in your life. But yeah. like an age. Too. Yeah. Plus, and your Lifestyle. age. I don't know how old you are, but yeah. I personally, if, if I was 35 and I was running 490, and like say that I wasn't even doing this career that I'm doing now and I was instead being an engineer, what I was originally gonna do, I would still jump on TRT cause I would rather like, I would, I feel better off of a level of like 800 or 900 yeah. than I do off of 490. There's a lot of HRT clinics that are like, they don't wanna give it to you unless you're like pushing sub 300. But um, if you really like, press your concerns how you really want to feel better and you don't feel that great because everybody's different then i'm sure there's some hrt clinics that will take you especially transcend which is my hrt clinic i'm sure if you talk to them then they might you know offer it to you too i think going off of everyone's different that's important you know so if you're running on uh high 400s low 400 range of testosterone i mean depending on how you feel you know if you're like i feel great i'm building muscle there's really no issue i wouldn't say hop on trt necessarily because there's really no need to um, but if you notice that there's some low T uh, side effects that you're having, you know, like libido's down, muscle growth is down, motivation's down, uh, just general well-being is down, that might be a serious consideration. Yeah, your sex routine. Jerk it. <laughs> the Gluck Gluck. The Gluck Gluck 9000. <laughs> Every other day. Don't need nobody. <laughs> Don't need nobody. Don't need nobody. You got the Gluck, come on. Do you love Indian bodybuilders? I love my Indian bodybuilders. I don't know why you guys keep making these fucking fake accounts though, but yeah. whoever the fuck Fit, Fit, Johnson. Fit Johnson is, who has like 250,000 subscribers on yeah. YouTube, yeah. they're literally all just my videos. Dirty, dirty Fit Johnson. I fucking hate you, dude. <laughs> I love stealing my shit. Fit Johnson, like come on, dude. Fit Johnson. <laughs> how to gain weight, how to increase appetite. I think weed is a great way to increase appetite, but then again, maybe not everybody should be smoking weed. It also increases your prolactin. So if you're a guy who already is prone to gynecomastia, especially because of increased prolactin, then it's probably just gonna make it worse. Yeah. yeah. How to reduce side fat of stomach. Unfortunately, you can't um, spot train. You can't lose fat in certain spots, but um, there is this substance, this peptide called tesmorelin that uh, will actually help target your belly fat. So yeah. if you're on an HRT company or you want to join an HRT company and you can, you know, join my company Transcend, then I get Tessa Morellin from them and I use that too. Which anime do you like? Fuck, bro. I love all of them, dude. I feel like I've watched almost all the good animes. There's like a handful here and there that I haven't seen, but like I've fucking seen everything down to like the OGs, like Inuyasha, like Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, obviously Dragon Ball Z, I love that shit. Bleach, Naruto was so sick. Dead, um, Death Note was amazing. I think my favorite anime of all time was actually Steins Gate, <laughs> cause it was just super emotional. It's not even an action anime. It's just like this beautiful drama about like time and like friends. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a really good one though. Sick. It's super beautiful. It like got a bunch of awards. Steins Gate was really cool. I just caught up with um, Demon Slayer. So Demon Slayer is pretty fucking sick. I think it starts off kind of like a little cheesy and kiddish, but it's it, it just gets better and better. I'm checking out Jujutsu Kaisen right now. It's pretty fun. <laughs> you need to catch up on your animes, bro. I haven't watched anything. Literally nothing. I'm fucking disappointed in you. Big workout chest growth. I just posted a chest workout today. I thought it was pretty dope. It's got a couple exercises that aren't totally necessary, but they're just different exercises, which is why I think they're like fun to implement. Yeah. Like these aren't the best workouts you could ever do. They're just different. Yeah. Especially if you've been doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, just a little variability. Yeah. People think you're sick when you do them.
<laughs> what age you started the gym? So I started around 12 years old. I got my parents to get me a bench press set and some other shit in my garage. And I just started like training and looking at the reflection of myself in the car <laughs> as I was working out and yeah. just I crying about all thing. the people that bullied me. Yeah. 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 I got in because of football. So we had a weight room and stuff. But yeah. Yeah. Garage gym the whole thing i was introduced through football and then i was like wow i'm like fat so i can actually lift a little heavier than other people and this is way more fun than cardio so that's why i got my parents to get me like, like a like a yeah. weight press set yeah what's the best way to prepare for a rave we did as many questions as we could there were like so many questions though so we had to cut it out or else it would be like an hour-long video we'll probably have part two of the q a out some point in the next couple weeks most likely too because we've been shooting for like an hour but i thought i would show you guys some of the new young la stuff that's coming out in like three days or so on the 15th 15th of march brow tuesday these are the new tank tops that are coming out the new ripped tanks they fit your body show off that v taper and stuff the lats pop out from the sides but then these are the dope ass new baggy joggers as well they have these nice little like stretchy straps that'll stick on your ankle so then you can literally make them as high as you want to. These are a medium and then the rib tank is a large. All right, so next up is the two in one leggings. These are fucking sick. They come with these dope ass looking shorts and then they're connected to these tight leggings to show off the quad and the heavy gains. And you can show off the little glutes that you've been making by doing your hip thrusts. This is a medium. These are the new Night Runner hoodies, fitted and super fucking sick. They're tight around the waist, so they show off your physique. And they have this dope ass zipper that goes all the way up into this kind of like turtleneck, kind of like little cash around your neck. I think it's absolutely dope. I feel like an assassin. Real fitted, and it works super fucking well with these new two-in-one leggings. I think they're an absolute vibe. These are the new ankle strap joggers. They have these dope ass ankle straps here where you can like tie them around your ankle and your your upper calf so they don't fall down. They look like pretty fucking baggy. They got a dope ass little swag look to them. And they're hella comfy and have some thick material. And then this is a medium. Last but not least, we got the Santa Cruz Visco shirts. They're clean and fitted as well. Got a nice thin material so you don't get too hot. And the buttons or just snap on. So super easy to come in and come out. Easy access, bro. You can probably roll them up and tuck them in into your pants and it'll look great regardless of how you wear it. You can wear it casual or wear it formal. Finally, I'm wearing a large. Last thing that's dropping are these new Ultimate Briefs that are coming out with the Young LA band on top come out in this fancy ass package and I wear a small and they're all really fitted. But yeah, you guys can use code now for that extra 50% off. Also supports me in my videos. And now we're gonna go back to the fucking program. Woo! Thanks for watching guys. That was our Q and A. We'll do more later, I'm sure. Oh yeah. 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 If you guys have any other questions or anything, you know, you're always welcome to ask in the comment section, but yeah. It's yeah. Fun. This is fucking Nathan Brooks. Follow him at Nathan Brooks one on Instagram. And then he also has a YouTube now that he's gonna finally fucking start. Let's start go. Listen, baby, let's go. Nathan Brooks Fitness on YouTube. Yeah. And then obviously there's me, follow me on Instagram at Nile Niga. Follow my stories. I post my stories live and stuff. So you guys can see like my diet, what I'm eating, like the supplements I'm using, all this shit. As well as if I have any like discounts or anything, special discounts going on. And um, my TikTok is Nile underscore Niga. And then if you guys wanna check out the company where I get my TRT from and like my testosterone shit that's changed my life that's transcend click the link below in the description my personalized training and nutrition programs are finally releasing in a week they'll be here in a week so if you guys are interested in signing up for that sign up at nilenigafitness.com and um, I will keep you guys updated with emails and stuff and when it releases then you guys can finally try my app as well as get your own personalized training and nutrition program made by me and by the programs I've created. I'll be basically making you a particular program based off of what kind of thing you want to work on, whether or not you want to work on like your V taper or your X frame or you want to focus on your shoulders, something like that, you want to focus on your legs then we'll build you a particular program based off of what you want. Your height, your weight, um, whether you want to cut or bulk and like gain mass or get leaner, everything. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Thanks for watching, bro. Got you. Peace. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ugh.
tired. Oh, Lord Jesus.